All right, we have cut off our top. Voila. And the next step now is to make a decorative edge on the top and to router the bottom so that we can fit our plywood in for the bottom of the box. Okay, so I'm gonna show you both of those things in this video. They're both very similar. One, we're routing the inside of something and the other, we're routing the outside of something. I'm gonna show you a couple different methods to do that. I'm also gonna show you how to change a bit in a router uh, that we did earlier in the year, but I'm gonna give you a little recap on how to do that. So let's do that first. Okay, with the router unplugged, we're gonna take two wrenches, same wrench, and our router, and we're gonna lay our router down facing away from us. All right, now these two wrenches are gonna go on here, which is the motor, and here, which is called the collet. Okay, the collet is what holds on to the bit, and once it gets tightened down, it squeezes that bit and holds it really tight. So it's really tight right now, we need to loosen it. Left wrench goes on the motor. Right wrench goes on the collet. And you're going to push them down. So I'm gonna open up my hands. If my fingers are closed, when that breaks loose, I'm gonna mash both of my uh, knuckles uh, on the table and on the, uh, the router. So I'm gonna open my hands and just push down, just kind of put my weight up. And there they go. So you can see how fast that breaks down. You don't wanna smash your knuckles. I'm gonna leave the left-handed wrench on the motor and I'm gonna loosen with my thumb on the right hand. Now it's gonna get tight again, so I'm gonna grab the wrench and break it loose one more time. Couple of turns with your thumb and then you're gonna pull the router bit out. Be careful not to grab onto the blade part of the router because it's extremely sharp. It's literally a razor blade. So I'm gonna pull this out by the bearing there, if you can get a grip on the bearing, or you can grab underneath the router bit right there where it's not sharp, okay? And I'm gonna change the bit. Now I'm putting the flush trim router bit in here. This is not what we're gonna use for this, uh, this job here. But this is what we're gonna use this router for in the future, so I'm gonna show you just how to change the bit here. And now we're gonna put that left the wrench in the left hand on the motor again, and the wrench in the right hand on the collet. And I'm, going, I'm tightening it, so I'm pulling them together. And that's tight. That's how you change your router bit, okay? The next step is to change or adjust the depth. The way you do that is this little T-handle right here gets loosened up, turning to the left, lefty loosey. And then we can rotate the motor and that's how the depth of the bit gets adjusted. Now I'm just gonna crank this one down so that it sits nicely in this base. Voila, we're done. Now if I'm done with the router, I'm gonna wrap up the cord behind the handle, the hook in the handle, and underneath that T-handle for the depth adjustment. Not really, really tight, just tight enough so that it's gonna stay there. And I'm gonna tuck this cord in right there, and then it stays together. When you carry these around, they should always be carried with the base. You're gonna put your thumbs inside that base and hold that down while you're grabbing this, and this way you don't drop this $300 router and break it, okay? That's how you change a bit. All right, I already have this router set up so that it uses a rabbit bit, okay? This rabbit bit, this is a three-bladed rabbit bit. We also have two-bladed rabbit bits, but they look the same, okay? They're just flat. It's like a square profile there. You can see the cutter. This is my cutter right here. So it just creates kind of this square cut. So we already made a rabbit joint in our box. It's a L-shaped cut. Same thing's gonna happen here, but it's gonna be on the bottom of the box, creating a shelf for our plywood to fit in the bottom. So I'm gonna do that first using a handheld router. Since you have your lid cut off, make sure that you are routering the bottom of the box for the rabbit. So make sure you turn it upside down. Again, those labels 
where we wrote bottom on there are going to come in handy here so you don't accidentally route the wrong side. All right, it's clamped in the vise, so now it's not going to move on us while we route it. We're routering the inside of the box, so we're going to router in a clockwise direction. We're going to do a two-pass routing uh, process. The first pass is going to be the scoring pass, where we take the bulk of the material away. And then we're going to come back the opposite direction and do a cleanup pass, where we just, we're going to pull that router all the way in so the bearing hits the inside of the box and we get a smooth, straight line. Okay, that's a scoring pass and a cleanup pass. So we have two passes that we're going to make um, as we go around here. Now I'm going to do it in about six inch segments. So I'm going to do a scoring pass, come back and clean it up. I'm going to do a scoring pass, come back and clean it up. And I'm going to do that all the way around the box. So I'm going to, it doesn't matter where I start because I don't have any end grain that I'm cutting here. I'm doing all surface and edge grain cutting. So it doesn't matter where I start, where I finish. Uh, I'm going to start somewhere in the middle and work, work my way around. This is very loud, so you should have earplugs. All right, I'm going to set the router sub base on the bottom of my box here, and I want to make sure that the router bit is not touching my board. Just like any other machine, I need to make sure that the machine is at full speed before I start my cut. A lot of people make this mistake when the router is starting up and when the router is slowing down, they accidentally hit the router bit into your board. Okay, that can damage the router bit. It can also take big, large chunks out of your uh, box and you don't want either of those things to happen. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now I have this little shelf for my plywood to fit into. Notice there's a lot of burn marks on this. Uh, burn marks occur when you're going really slow or just too slow uh, for the cut. The good news, we don't have to sand the burn marks out of this because this is gonna be covered up. All right, now let's talk about routering the top. Okay, so I can router the top of the box a couple of different ways. I can use a handheld router like this it would be the exact same process you use to do the flush trim cut on the top of the box. All right, now I'm gonna show you the table router method. Um, I'm gonna have a Roman OG bit set up in the table router so that you can come over there and use the Roman OG bit on the top. That's usually the most common uh, router bit chosen. I'm also gonna show you what your options are so that you're ready to go when it's time for you to router the top of the box. So again, you can use a handheld router just like we did on the flush trim bit uh, on the top, or you can use a table router, kind of just gonna depend on which router bit you choose. So let me show you your options. All right, so I have a board here. This is hanging up on the wall between the uh, tool cabinet and the whiteboard. Uh, you can come up and check uh, up here at the top. I have the different router bits. So you wanna pick out which of these router bits you wanna use. And if you look at the edge profile of these, this will tell you uh, what your options are, or show you what your options are. Okay, so uh, we have this one here. This is a roundover, and this is a step-down roundover. Okay, this here is just the same as the roundover. Okay, these are actually used the same type of bit with a different depth adjustment. You have this one here, which is a cove, and then this one here, which is a Roman OG. So those are your four options. You got your Roman OG, your Cove, your roundover, step-down roundover, okay? 
This is what your rabbit looks like. So this is done with that rabbit bit. That's the bottom of the box, okay? So one more final time. Step down, round over, round over, cove, Roman OG. Now I'm gonna show you the Roman OG. Uh, we're gonna do that on the table router. So let's go over there. Okay, so I have my lid of the box and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna flip it upside down because the router is also upside down when it's mounted in this table router. So what we're gonna do is just use that bearing as our fence. So you'll notice I don't have my fence up here. I just have my handles in here for my fence. Uh, that's just so that they're out of the way and they don't get lost. Uh, so we're gonna take our top or our lid and we're going to go ingrain first, just like we did on those other routers where we had ingrain. So you're gonna hit the ingrain, you're gonna come back and do the other ingrain, and then you're gonna do the edge grain, and then the other edge grain. Okay, so you're going eventually all the way around the box. It's very important that you only start on the right and move to the left. Do not go the other direction, you'll have a kickback and your lid will go flying over there and probably break and probably hurt somebody. So um, hopefully you wouldn't get hurt in that situation, but could also pull your hand into the router bit if your hands were not in the right spot. So for example, if you had your hands here and you were pushing it through, boom, it pulls your hands directly into that router bit, okay? So we're gonna stand a little bit to the right of the blade and we're gonna push across to the left, all right? So it looks like this. All right, look how fancy my top looks now. Very nice. Okay, so on the end, end of the boards here, I have some frayed edges. That stuff will come off with some light sanding. It may even just come off when you rub on that a little bit. Most of that comes off. But now we have a box that's really starting to look complete and finished. Okay, so a little sanding and we'll be good to go. All right, so that is routering the top and bottom of your box. See you in the next video.